Oh, I know why Minecraft's completely silent, it's because I have music disabled. So, hello YouTube, you'll have to excuse my uh, very poor sounding voice, I've been very sick the last few days. But I wanted to show you my Five Nights at Freddy's uh, map that I... I've been using some mods to get the decorations that I would like, that it more like the checkered walls there. Uh, but I've tried to keep it mostly vanilla. Some mods are just here purely for aesthetic reasons. Others are just here because... I hate the normal villagers, so I kind of have Minecraft comes alive, so they're player skins. But anyways... I have been reworking on parts of my map. As you can see here, I should probably put some lights down there around the actual sign too. Uh, I have built part of the exterior, technically, of the <coughs> pizzeria from the actual movie. It's not perfectly even. I will fix that in a future update of this, but there, I have, for personal reasons, I'm uploading this video a little bit earlier. This is what it looks like at night. We'll go through this in shaders, but we're first going to go through in the default Minecraft look. Um, like I said, I'm going to actually fix it and make it more even in the future. The main reason it's not even right now is because of the how close Five Nights at Freddy's 2 is to the original Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. From when I originally made these maps back on the Xbox One in 2016-ish. Now, if you've seen a video from like five years ago now or so, 2017, when Minecraft Bedrock was new, I did a little video where I was using command blocks on a tour of the original version of the Five Nights at Freddy's 1 Pizzeria, and, a few, and then there's also one for the Five Nights at Freddy's 2. I never did show Fred Bears, and over there is Fazbear's Fright that I just haven't finished. Eventually, I'll get back to it. I'm also going to actually make a real driveway. Don't mind some of the stuff you're seeing in the background. I had some friends on here at one point. Back when I still had friends to play Minecraft Xbox with. And a lot of messing around with like the clone command. Like that wall, random wall there. All of these chunks that are just here clone from this world because it's an overworld super flat including parts of the original pizzeria back before I made the changes and apparently they all have the glow signs too which is weird because that wasn't a thing back when I built these maps and these things were cloned The armor stand's completely missing, because when I ported this over to Java Edition, a lot of my like armor stands disappeared. But the other reason why I do this on Java Edition is so I can actually use the custom player heads, at least for this video. Here's part of the Finance of Freddy's One Pizzeria that was also cloned. Um, hmm. It doesn't look like either bug happened when this was being ported or something but here you can keep running water here you can see what part of the backstage originally looked like the this obviously was a checkered padded floor at one point but all of the uh i guess due to being clones all of, cloned all of my uh shelves and stuff that i built back then kind of Data went wonky. Now I could, if you guys are interested, if you guys are interested, I could do a video of walking through this back before I did all the modding uh, blocks, modded blocks. I could go do a tour of what this originally looked like.
But geez, it's very dark in here. Well, I can guarantee you that wasn't there at all times. It must have been some new world generation when it got ported. And then it glitched with updates and became a full-on river. It's a show stage. Yeah, a lot of the blocks look like they got reset. So yeah, some remnants of what this used to be. Attempts to make the female restroom sign. This isn't by actual tour, I just kind of got distracted. The office got completely cut off. That's hilarious. I wonder why it's so dark in there. There's a clone version of the FNAF 2 pizzeria as well. And this little thing from FNAF World, one of the endings. Oh, and you got a little piece of the pizzeria, too. <laughs> so there's another uh, backstage preview. Lol. But yeah, I never did the Fred Bear, so I should probably do that at some point. And yes, this is just a facade, like the actual exterior of the pizzeria was in the movie. And that giant room back there wasn't always there, but that there's a reason why I've designed that. And I don't have all the props and stuff I wanted to use either. So let's get all this loaded back in. So like, for instance, one of the mods I'm using is Macaw's doors. And trap doors. Because... I mean, it's a garage door. And frameworks are used to create some of the extra details. Like the curves over there. But here's the pizzeria exterior during the day. And like I said, I want to upgrade it. Make it all look nice. So in here we have like a little open area. Kind of loosely based off the movie. I try to. Some couches, some arcades, thanks to the builder's crafts and add-ons. One of the other reasons why I kind of have it. Those are supposed to represent, like, the lights. That says, welcome. <coughs> welcome on those signs. Which, using frame blocks, allows me to make them out of glass. One of the main reasons I did the custom... Or some of the mods so I can get these candy cane patterns. I did try to do a custom texture pack. It didn't work. But, uh... Here we have the, uh, what the hell? Huh. I guess I never finished fixing all of that. Uh, backstage. Now, someone's at the front. Apologies for the interruption. We've got the Indo 01 over here. I never gave him his arms. Oh well. So yeah, there's the entrance. There's the dining area. We'll go show Freddy's. These are also supposed to represent like stage lights. We'll go show Foxy. Yeah. 
There's Foxy, there's Pirate Cove. The fake water, because when I designed this map, I thought it would be nice to give Foxy, like, a stage set. It was real water at one point. More arcades that line the wall. Now I think I have the power always enabled for this. Because it can it like shuts off at six o'clock according to those time displays. But here we got Freddy and the gang. Freddy and Co. And some uh, speakers that I can't use. But yeah, there's that. I really wish we had the old Minecraft. What the hell happened to your feet? They don't look very orange. But there's that. We got our. Uh, Got some cakes left over from my original design of this map, with all of these uh, tables are custom. There wasn't an, a better block to do that with, unfortunately. So we got the party hats, that's what these are supposed to represent. Pizza, on plates. This would be your perspective when staring at the camera. Suddenly the game's very laggy. Just give it a moment. Okay, we got Freddy in the game. From roughly the camera angle, I should probably move that over a little more. We got Owner's office. Don't mind the redstone, that is here for a specific reason. Because, hey look, we got the showtime button. Now the animatronics don't actually do anything, because I didn't get that far. But, <coughs> <coughs> does allow for a shuffling jukebox to play. So I'm doing a bit of a tour. This is where Goldie hides. We've got the diner. Oh, we got the kitchen here. Socks up there to help with all the time.
bathrooms. Bathroom camera perspective, although I think I actually switched around the bathrooms when designing this map. Employees only area. Sorry, sorry. Mike. Hall. Rules for safety. Very important. Here's the office. Got the celebrate poster. And these maps are not actually something I imported. I actually built that. I can show you that later. Uh, the other freight work block. I've, uh, made these. So you can turn on the lights. I can't really tell they're on right now with them already being on the doors. Those are supposed to represent the lockers. I'm Gonna change this up a little bit. Freddy. In my class party. And over here we've got the supplies closet. Those are supposed to be like brooms. This one's supposed to be more like a mop, and this one's more or less meant to be the broom, but, you know. Cauldron's there for, uh, water bucket purposes, because the frame flower pot didn't quite work. For the main building, we got the sun back there behind the animatronics. Now, I'm turn that off so you can see the place at night. I mean, I would imagine the actual pizzeria would probably close around 10 o'clock in the evening. the atmosphere of the first half and a half, with a little bit of light that's on them. And those candles just automatically create glow. This, there's not much I can do unless I remove move the lights from there. But I think it works okay. some creative liberties when I was designing the exterior though. Kitchen. This is it at night. Got our 
think it might. <sighs> Cupcake up there. It's supposed to represent the drink. And these lockers, there's something special about them. Not that one, but... Yep. These are all the sway boards of the menu. Like our, uh, Fazbear Pizza. Oh, where'd the lights get in the way? <sighs> Got Chico Wings. Which is mainly just the chicken basket, honestly. Lots of pasta. Yeah, foxy salads. Bonnie's burgers. Oh, we're at the very edge of the music here. Sides. Oops, I must have forgot to click on those with the glow sack. The desserts. Got two pages of desserts, actually. Some are references, some are things that I get from one of my food mods. Foxy sand pudding is kind of like mud pudding. It's vanilla pudding with like. Exotic butters. Cobalt vanilla Oreo cookies. Stuff like that. Sorry, like I said, I'm not feeling good. My eyes are a bit watery. Got more desserts and jokes. See bodies. Rice gummies. We've got drinks over here, like the fizzy fast, hot chocolate, and hot cocoa. Tea builder tea, which is one of the mods. This juice gets shoved all the way over there. That's weird. Drinks continue. P8, it's like V8. Over here we've got candy. Which these ones are all sorts of references if you read them. You might know them from Help Wanted. Some of them are actual, like, real candies or more vanilla, more references, like the Golden Vanilla Bar. Because who wouldn't want to eat a vanilla bar? <laughs> then, you guys probably saw it, but Bonnie's Burgers. I don't have it on me, but... but yes, this is a good door. This is not really for the customers. Or that's something I did for fun. <coughs> <coughs> Sit here till 6 a.m. real quick. I know, riveting gameplay. We're totally being attacked. But, you know, you can actually reach the lights and the doors. But that's the main tour of this.
That's our Halloween special song. Most of the mods here are apparently for decorational reasons. Although I'm sure with Create I could create working uh, curtains if I really wanted to. This is just supposed to be a lamp, by the way. And that's about it. Now, before I end the video, I know I have the exterior here, but the other challenge was I wanted to keep this as realistic to the game, so as close to the games as possible. And, uh, and I wanted to keep some of my original design alive, like that Freddy head right there. The Freddy Fazbear's Pizza right there. Granted, like I showed you back over here, or Fred Bear's also a prime example of it. This is where the animatronics would be controlled if I could implement the commands to do so. But, uh... I mean, obviously he's in a bit of disrepair here, but... My original Freddy Fazbear... ...design... ...right here. Kind of. I could easily fix this, but I'm not going to. You can see... Pretty much the original design still left over there. And that little box right there is the cameras, because this was a playable map. Although it was before commands and stuff really existed, so you would have needed friends. That's why there's the costumes in the back. Yeah. Back before I ported this over, these would be used for certain uh, cameras. Yeah. They no longer have the names. Oh, yeah, they do. No, they don't. These used to all have names, but. Like I said, if you want to know the names, you can go check out my old video on Bedrock. I might link it in the description if I remember to do so. <coughs> and yes, these are real windows. This is one of the other reasons why I uh, use the frame blocks. is because it gives me that nice design there. I wish the connected... Uh, glass texture would apply to these, but... Yeah. So that's the map in the default Minecraft actors. I want to redo the exteriors, too. Make them all look nice and realistic. Like a Fazbear sign. I gotta move some of my crap around. Stuff like that. I'll do that at some point. But I don't want to over-stress myself. Anyways, let's go ahead and let's check this out, and I know this video is already kind of long, but... I'm actually going to disable my mic for these shots here. <laughs> 